Welcome back to InfoWars Nightly News. We're now joined by humanitarian and overall trendy Cobra Commander. He is an international terrorist, a dictator over third world countries. Uh, he's involved in bioweapons, weapon sales. Uh, and, and now in the modern America and modern world where torture, secret arrest, TSA, groping your children's genitals is what the good guys do, I thought we'd have him on. Uh, I know the media reaches out to Cobra uh, Commander or Cobra Leader quite often, uh, and uh, he refuses to come on. But he has agreed to do this interview because he has a big announcement tonight to make uh, to the people that live in this 1984 society. And again, if you're not with uh, the Cobra leader or Mr. Cobra, uh, then uh, you're not uh, a modern trendy. So I want to thank him for joining us this evening. Uh, Mr. Cobra and associate, um, I guess, minion, kind of like North Korea. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mr. Cobra leader. You pathetic little worm. How dare you call me Mr. Cobra? I am Supreme Cobra Commander! You call your petty bureaucrats, officials, and authorities, you will kneel before Cobra or face my wrath! You pathetic little worm, how dare you call me Mr. Cobra! Your Supreme Excellency, your graciousness, your royal highness, Cobra Commander. I should give you the same attention that other mass murderers get who run empires like the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. I apologize. Uh, the corporate media for a long time has wondered who you actually are. And since I got your title wrong, will you please tell us who you are, sir? Because tyranny is so trendy right now. Why not reveal yourself, your lordship? None of your pathetic business, worm, submit to me. Even this gentleman here to my left is a servant of Cobra. For decades you've known him as the real Cobra commander. Only now am I letting you pathetic people know that it is I, the true Cobra commander, who have ruled from behind the scenes. Oh, man. And I always like the Bill of Rights and Constitution and due process. It is so cool. You just are talking down to me. Now I know how other Americans feel. We like being slaves. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, I've got so many other questions. Thank you for giving us this big, gracious interview. Miss Napolitano, I'm sorry to reveal your identity. I mean, forget that. Uh, Cobra Commander, why are you agreeing to this interview? You said you had some special announcement for us. Uh, please uh, tell us uh, what that is, sir. I am the leader. I am Cobra Commander. I have agreed to this interview so that you might know that I have decided to go public and to have a public stock offering in Cobra Global Enterprises. I intend to issue my own fiat currency, but before I do that, I intend to sue Homeland Security for copyright and trademark infringement. Black uniforms, black uniforms, ski mask, checkpoints, black armored tanks on the streets, preemptive war, torture, wireless wiretapping, total tyranny is the new freedom that Cobra has taught the world. And now Joe and the Pentagon have stolen my plan and hired Al-Qaeda to carry out their operations in Libya, which they formerly did for me. Now clearly America and the rest of the system has realized that I am the true visionary. And so I now announce to you and the world the greatest moment in the history of Cobra! Cobra! Ah. I will now sit for president and run on the Republican Party ticket against that pleasure of Barack Obama that stolen so many of my ideas. Clearly an America that loves indefinite detention and the NDAA and torture and secret arrest is ready to be ruled by a true tyrant, 
I was a snake and an oppressor before it was cool. Hail Cobra! Cobra! I am running for president of the United States and from America. I will continue the policy of global corporate war against the third world. Death and destruction. Forced inoculations. Hail Cobra! Well, you're obviously keeping us safe from terrorists. I just only have a few more questions. Your supreme helperness's officialness's authority is a powerful government. I know that you are a humanitarian and care about the population. What about climate change? What about carbon taxes that are being implemented? Where does COBRA as an organization stand on that, uh, sir? As your future president, I agree with Al Gore to be able to breathe or engage in any activity. You will pay not Gore, but me or Supreme Leader money to breathe. If you want to engage in any activity, you will get permission from Cobra. And I now have a giant homeland security bureaucracy and police wearing Cobra uniforms who are ready to strike fear into the slaves who will implement this system. So the answer, you pathetic worm, is yes, I will allow you to live if you pay me to breathe. Al Gore has served us well. What's your electoral strategy? How do you think you're going to be elected? Cobra is always confident. Not only do the American people clearly love my style of leadership, but if they are woken up by traitors against evil, like Ron Paul, I will simply implement the electronic voting machines and the gullible sheeple will buy it all! Hail Cobra! Cobra! In closing, your worshipfulness, what is the essence of what you want to impart to all the people that want to live under authoritarian rule? And remember one more thing, you pathetic little worm and all of your viewers. You belong to me. Tyranny is freedom. The freedom for psychopaths like me and the armies of millions that serve me is the future. Resistance to Cobra is unstoppable. Because I'm keeping you safe from Al Qaeda. <laughs> Get me Bin Laden in here for orders. Get the CIA on the phone now and have them hail Cobra. Well, that's our interview with Cobra Commander, and I'm going to be honest with you. I, uh, in the past, thought that people like Cobra Commander were bad, but I'm a patriot. And now the government says torturing children in Iraq, uh, secretly arresting Americans is good, uh, putting cancer viruses in vaccines is good. And so, really, people like Cobra Commander are the good people. Like in the Bible, Judas is a good guy, Barabbas is good, Jesus is bad. Uh, nowadays, uh, you know, the Lone Ranger is, is, is bad and, and the bank robbers are good. I'm beginning to realize that I was wrong and I was an extremist the entire time. And uh, global government is a good thing. And uh, we're really lucky and blessed to have people like Cobra Commander uh, here to keep us safe. And I'm glad he's running for president. He'll keep America safe. We need a tough guy like that uh, in there to, to ship guns into Mexico. And so here in this age of tyrants, let's go all the way. Let's, let's elect Cobra Commander. I'm supporting Cobra Commander for president. Doesn't matter. He'll steal it through Diebold uh, machines anyways. And I'm glad that uh, Cobra Commander uh, has put a uh, contract out uh, on anybody talking about the Bill of Rights or Constitution. And I'm glad that Cobra Commander stands against terrorists like Ron Paul. Well, that's it for InfoWars Nightly News. Hail Cobra!